Okay, so I'm at Minneapolis, Minnesota, the downtown, and behind me is the city hall. This thing is massive. It's a square city block. Let's take a look at this because I haven't yet. We're gonna do it right now. Just walking down the street and seeing the size of this, I don't even know if the camera can capture what my eye sees. Standing here, it's that large. And it just goes up and up and up. Now, usually, <laughs> You don't have a building of that width. But that building is not only wide, but the side of it is just as long, an entire block. They have this labeled on marble up there, courthouse, then the, uh, the date, which has been debated in uh, other videos whether or not they've added an M at the start, or just the entire plate itself. But just to see this, aside from anything else, the time that it said that it was built, and all that, uh, <laughs> it's just massive. I think this is by far the largest one that I've seen you know, built like this of mass massive stone rock or even if it was poured or created out of some sort of composite it's massive they're huge blocks the huge block after huge block and then obviously a little bit smaller ones but it, it's it's 345 feet high and 400 feet to the top of the flagstaff. And every piece interlaces with the piece next to it to make a perfect semicircle because you'll see that the joints between are not really wider on the ends those are just cut perfectly you can see as how those stones taper out toward the upper part to be a perfect semicircle with the perfect width uh, the masonry work is beyond perfect and of course that base stone is about uh, three and a half feet high, probably three feet wide. That's got away. I mean, so many of the buildings here from old pictures don't exist any longer. They've been torn down. <laughs> I don't think they, they would know how to tear this thing down barely. This is, is so massive. And so much work. And of course, the sidewalks are poured right up to the stone, so. lower levels and that type of thing you're not going to see right here but when we come around on the side you can see that it just continues on for an entire block walking down now to the next corner you can see a little bit lower down here because this part was left exposed and you can see the massive work that will go into laying those just massive stones. And to carve that many stones and haul them here just would seem impossible. They say that this was built from 1891 to 1895 in four years, horse and buggy hauling 
<laughs> two, probably 3,000, maybe 4,000 pound stones. And near the foundation, up to an incredible 40,000 pounds per stone and over. sounds impossible even today and you can see that below that grading much like in kansas city it goes much lower this is what was built at some point this is what's built now i mean it's incomparable you can't even compare and this this tower is just the small one this is the, the other side in the front. I would call it the back side, but it's really not. It's, it's just another side. And the tower is just huge. It's closed right now because it's a Sunday, which probably makes it better for getting some better video with um, a lack of people around. And as we approach the next corner, you'll see these smaller windows have those perfectly cut stones above them because the, the joints between the stones are not bigger at one end. It's perfectly cut stones. And there's one, another, another, another. I mean, to me, these would really have to be constructed, these stones, to be perfectly all done. And it had to have been poured with some kind of a composite material that forms almost a perfect granite-looking substance. Because that would just be an incredible, incredible amount of work to cut those. Now, here we are on the west side and we can see how far this actually goes down. And that's just the part we can, we can see. This is a fortress, this is a castle. By far the biggest one that I've seen. Uh, in the cities of America. And to just look at the size of that those foundations i'm going to go down there and let you see that up close because the camera really doesn't capture the size of those buildings and this is a horse and buggy era <laughs> i say horse and buggy horse and wagon but people traveled with the buggy and hauled stuff in wagons at any rate one of these stones in a wagon if you could even get it in doesn't really seem possible well, you can see what's down here. These stones, again, are about at least three foot high, four feet wide. And the entire building, even if it is red brick inside, the, these rocks on the outside are so huge that <laughs> It would be an amazing feat just to cover up that, but at any rate, the idea is that they go much lower. But I'm gonna go around to the other side. We're almost back to the front, just to show you how huge this building is. 
they don't build anything like this now again now we're on the caddy corner toward the building across the street let's take a look at that that's what they're building now This is what was built. And right here, tell me what you think about that. 1891 to 1895. Supposedly, the city hall at that time how many how big of a record storage do you need for a population that really is not it probably as large as the building I also want you to see close up that right above the front doors are these areas that are just made perfectly in a little loop right next to cylinder construction of a thinner level a wider level a thinner level a wider level but that's circular and it's continually perfectly done you notice the lines are right above each other going up and continues continues to the very top was a pointed like turret cover almost like a roof on the, on those but the circular construction on this entire building is everywhere there's an entire cylinder construction all the way down with the incredible arch work, perfect arch work above each and every arch. If you can find a stonemason that can actually do that in this day and age, definitely post below because every stonemason I've talked to, brick mason, says no way. There you have it. Rivals anything uh, worldwide. It's extremely old and known to be old. Horse and wagon, 1800s. Minneapolis City Hall. Can't even get it all in the frame. Hit like and subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next video.